At some stage or another, most of us often find ourselves sitting with our legs crossed. Whether it's catching up with your girlfriends or just hanging out with the guys, it's just a comfortable way to sit, right? To perform this action, we must be able to externally rotate our thighs. Today we'll learn about a muscle that assists in this movement in our tutorial on the functions of the obturator externus muscle. Let's begin with an overview of the anatomy of the obturator externus muscle. As we can see from our anatomical model here, the obturator externus is a flat, fan-shaped muscle that originates from the external surface of the pelvis. Therefore, we can best see it from an anterior perspective. Looking at the bigger picture, the obturator externus muscle is part of a group of muscles known as the external rotators of the thigh, or the hip joint, which gives us a clue about its function, but more about that later. Alternatively, you might also sometimes see it classified as one of the muscles belonging to the medial compartment of the thigh. In order to understand the functions of the obturator externus, we need to first learn about the bones it attaches to and the joints that it crosses. If we take a closer look at our awesome 3D model here, we can see that the obturator externus muscle originates from the anterior surface of the obturator membrane and the bony boundaries of the obturator foramen. Its muscle fibres converge posterolaterally to form a tendon, which passes posterior to the neck of the femur to insert at the trochanteric fossa of the femur, which is this depression we can see here if we view our model from a posterior perspective. By looking at these attachment points, we can clearly see that the obturator externus muscle crosses just one joint, which is, of course, the hip joint, also known as the acetabulofemoral joint. So now that we know the anatomy of our star muscle, we also need to have a look and see what nerve instructs it to carry out its functions. Conveniently, the obturator externus is innervated by the obturator nerve, which is formed by the L2, L3 and L4 nerve roots of the lumbar plexus. Specifically, it is innervated by the posterior branch of this nerve. Now that we're familiar with the structure and innervation of the obturator externus, let's move on to talk about its functions. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.